What we're going to do now then is have a look at uh, the strip down for the compressor to uh, change the head gasket. So over we go. This is the kit I've got sent. So we've got a, the plate, sort of spread a plate. We've got a gasket which has got slightly bent, uh, a metal gasket, a couple of fabric gaskets and those. I have no idea what they're for at all. Uh, maybe it'll become clearer once we get into it. I don't know. Um, maybe they're for cleaning the uh, gasket, the old gasket off. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah. Okay. So that's my new bits. I'll pop them back in the packet. Keep them safe. I'll pop those on one side for now. First job then is to take this cover off. Um, it needs a 6mm hex Allen key type sort of gig fitting. I'm assuming this needs to come off of there, but I'm not entirely convinced to be honest. We'll see. We shall see. I can't see any other way that it's fixed on. There is a screw on the other side. Um, yeah, that's about it. taken that off and then on this side it's held on by a couple of very small screws by the looks of it and the, and the um, pipe coming in um, so we're going to need a spanner yeah and a small screwdriver okay This is the pipe that needs to come off and we've got a couple of small screws, one here and one here. I've got a 23mm spanner for this. It's actually a little bit slightly large, probably actually a 22 I think. But it'll do the job. Possibly. Oh, that's pretty tight. Right, this is proving to be rather reluctant to come off, so it's time for the serious equipment to come out. That'll teach the bastard. That'll learn you. Okay, so that should just lift off now. Right, we've got six head bolts to take off. They are um, six millimeter Allen again, I think. Allen! Yep, six meter Allen. Right. Uh, I've put my ratchet down somewhere, which is really handy. Them in a kind of a star fashion. Oh, they're 
tight. Yeah, they're not equally done up. Some of these are tighter than others, which doesn't bode particularly well. They should all be done to the same torque. These ones are really easy, that one was well tight. Yeah, terrific variation in how tight those are. So nobody's used a torque wrench to put those on, I don't think. Totally right out, so I'm definitely not going to catch. Right, I've bloody lost the one underneath there. Let me screw me driver. Right. that was supposed to be in there. Okay. Well, I've got to say, it's not that bad to be honest. The gasket looks to be fine. There appears to be some burning on one of the pistons. If you have a look in here, you can see there seems to be some burning on that piston. So I'll split the head and have a look at the other gasket and see how it's looking. Right, we've moved across to the bench now. Now I've got to try and separate this plate the piece underneath somehow, preferably without damaging it. Yeah, there's loads of burn marks on there. Not happy in here. Okay. okay there's a little piece there that you can get a screwdriver into. These Little bits here, so I'm going to get a smaller screwdriver and have a bash at that. I can see that copper gasket there. But you know when he come off. They sent me a replacement one of these because this is probably going to comprehensively bugger this up. Ah. Okay, so there's the little silvery bits. Can't really see any major issues there. Okay. So I need to move this one now. Failed head gasket. Okay. 
Now the great debate of course is whether this is something that's happened in use or whether this is a manufacturing issue. Because it looks to me like this there's a little crack in it there. It looks to me like that's never been correctly mounted. Just got a little crack there, I don't know if you can see that. Let's just push this out. But yeah, I wonder if it was ever correct. So we've got to take this gasket off, find the new one, put that on, and see where we go. And those little metal bits, they go in there. For some reason. Got four, but I'm not quite sure why. Things go on that side, I guess. Yeah, okay. Right. So we're gonna peel this off. Get it all cleaned up. And get it off. Looks like it's been glued in place. And the gasket sealant. That's going to be a pain in the bum to get off, isn't it? We'll try and get it off without damaging it. Well, not, with, not worried about the gasket, obviously, but without damaging the surface of the head itself. scraper. in a spelling test trying to get this gasket off I think that's probably as good as it's going to get with the scraper because I, I am worried about damaging the, the mating face so um, I think next we're gonna do a bit of wet and dry and just see if we can get those last vestiges off and get it nice and smooth right, I'm gonna start off with some 600 Let's see how we get on We are getting there, but it's going to be a slow process. I've got some 400, but I don't know if that's going to be a bit too gritty. Let's give the 400 a try. Now I've got a little bit of wet with this uh, 400 as well. And let's see how we on. Effectively skimming the head here, I think. Incidentally, this is not water I'm using, it's Coca-Cola. <laughs> I was having to have it here, but also I thought it might be quite useful because of its slight sort of stripping properties. Okay, we seem to be making a little bit of progress now. Let's get in there. And actually, it's pretty smooth with the 400 so I think the 400 is going to be okay. The other advantage of the Coca-Cola is inside here all needs cleaning out, it's all full of burnt muck, bits of 
um, gasket and so on. So that needs a really good clean out. I've got some turps to finish it. Well, I've got some turps I'll give it a try with, or some methylated spirit rather. But it might need a bit of a clean with some petrol to um, get it looking really good. I'd like to give it a final going over with some 800, well not final, but I'd like to next do some 800 grit so I'm working up the grits, but I haven't got any in my uh, box of sandpaper and goodies. So I'm just going to give it a whirl with some 1200 just to um, make sure everything's nice and smooth and it feels pretty good. But um, yeah, we'll see. So the head now is looking pretty reasonable. Um, all I've got to do now is clean up all that shit inside. So that's going to be the next thing. This is when you wish you had a parts washer. Right, I've got my trusty little brush. And some coke. <laughs> Swear by coke for cleaning stuff. Feel nice and fizzy. <laughs> of course, coke is sticky, so we'll finish off by going around it with some methylated spirits. Make sure I've got all of the residue out. So I've had a little brush round, and I'm making progress. So I'm going to dry that off, then I'm going to do it in meths, and then we'll see where we're at at that point. Before I reassemble this, I'll be changing the piece of paper underneath to just make sure that my working environment is nice and clean. I don't really want to be introducing any contaminants into the cylinder head if I can avoid it. Because um, that's a recipe for disaster. Right, bit of mess. It's looking a pretty explosive mixture. This is probably the time that I won't smoke a cigar. What happens if you mix meths and Coca Cola? We find out. Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Right, a bit more kitchen roll, let's dry that off. They'll evaporate out fairly quickly, but we're doing mess. Just to help it along its way. Right, that's that bit done. Okay. So we've got a good mating surface now. And um I'm going to have a look at the pistons in the engine itself because they look pretty grubby as well. Um, see if I can do anything to clean those up. Um, and then uh, I need to get some gasket sealant. The guy that I watched on YouTube, he um, he, he did it dry, but um, clearly that was stuck on pretty massively. There wasn't very much sealant in this area here, actually, and I wonder if that's what's caused the failure. Um, is an incomplete sealant and then and so that wasn't stuck on and it's just been blown sideways by the pressure um, don't know don't know um, right so yeah we'll get that cylinder head cleaned up I'll have to get some gasket sealant it's Saturday afternoon now so it's going to be Monday before I can do that um, and then um, yeah we'll see where we go at that point Okay, so I'll, I'll clean the uh, pistons up. <laughs> I was video, well, I thought I was videoing it, but the camera wasn't switched on. Um, so I'll just use some um, turps and some tissue, uh, just kitchen roll. On this one, there was quite a lot of debris on it and burns and so on. Um, so 
I'll just put a bit of degreaser on that, um, just normal degreasing stuff, um, and then clean it up with that. And they've come up pretty well. They don't look to be damaged at all. Um, I am going to do an oil leak down test before I put it all back together again. I'm not going to change this gasket. Looking at the problems that I had with the other one, um, getting it all cleaned up and so on. If I do that with this, I'm, I'm running the risk of just filling the cylinders up with crap, which I'd really rather not do. Um, and this gasket looks to be good. It looks to be in decent condition. It's got no damage to the top of it at all. So um, I'm going to leave that in place and kind of hope for the best. Um, I think we should be okay. Right, so I'm going to pop some oil in there. So I'll pop some oil in the cylinders. What I'm looking out for is to see if that's going to soak away over the next couple of days. Um, well, next probably, if the rings are shot, then it's probably going to be a bit quicker than that, maybe an hour or two. Um, but if it stays there for a day or so, then we know that the rings are okay. I've put a metal ruler across the top to check the head for flatness and it seems to be okay, it doesn't seem to have warped. Um, so hopefully we've got away with that. So we'll come back to you in a couple of days, see what's what.